Hey, what's going on guys? This is Sean from MyAccountingCourse.com and today we're going to be talking about the gross margin ratio. So stay tuned. Now the gross margin ratio is a profitability ratio that calculates how each sales dollar contributes to the gross margin. In other words, it's a ratio that shows a company's gross margin as a percentage of its net sales. Now, what exactly is a gross margin and why are we trying to calculate a ratio based on the sales? Well, a gross margin is uh, an efficiency calculation that basically tells how well a company can buy and sell its inventory or other merchandise. Gross margin is calculated by subtracting the cost of goods sold from the net sales. So a company that can buy inventory or other merchandise at a low cost and then can sell it for a lot higher uh, is going to have a higher gross margin. The only problem with the gross margin is that you can't really compare two companies' gross margins together because gross margin is really a raw dollar calculation similar to net income. So a smaller company with $100,000 of sales compared to a company with $5 million of sales can't really compare the gross margins. Take Todd's Retail Store and Bob's Retail Store, for example. Todd's Retail Store had $100,000 of net sales and cost of goods sold to $75,000. This left their gross margin at $25,000. Now, Bob's Retail Store had $5 million of sales and had $4,650,000 of cost of goods sold. So Bob's gross margin was $350,000. See, based on the gross margin, you'd assume that Bob's store is doing a lot better than Todd's store. Bob has $350,000 of gross margin, where Todd only has $25,000. But see, you can't compare the two gross margins together. That's where the gross margin ratio comes into play. Now, the gross margin ratio is calculated by dividing the gross margin or the net sales minus cost of goods sold by the net sales. So if we go back to our example, uh, Bob's gross margin of 350,000, if we divide that by the $5 million in sales, he'll, he only has a 7% gross margin ratio. Now Todd's store had a $25,000 gross margin uh, but he had sales of 100,000. So if we divide the gross margin by the sales, his gross margin ratio is 25%. In other words, for every sales dollar that Todd makes, he gets to keep 25 cents worth of profit, whereas every dollar that Bob's makes, he only gets to keep seven cents on every dollar. So actually, Todd is running a more efficient and more profitable business. All he needs is more sales. If Todd could bring his sales up to $5 million in sales, he'd have a gross margin of 1,250,000. You could argue that the reason Todd only has $100,000 worth of sales is because he's charging too much for his inventory. In other words, only a select number of customers will come and buy stuff from him and that's why his gross margin is so high. Whereas Bob uh, can sell his stuff at cheaper prices but more customers will come and buy it. So Bob has more sales but at a lower gross margin ratio. So that's the basics about the gross margin ratio. I hope you guys learned something. If you want more information about the gross margin ratio or any other financial ratio, check out the link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.